In Hollywood, long-standing relationships can sometimes be hard to come by. However, Steven Spielberg and his wife Kate Capshaw are one of those rare gems. The couple has been married for over three decades and is still going strong. After all those years together, we couldn't help but wonder what the secret was to their marriage. Get comfortable because we're going to tell you how Steven and Kate fell in love and how they've made their union unbreakable. 38 years old, Steven Spielberg met 31-year-old Kate Capshaw around 1984 after she was cast in his film Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. Kate had just recently gotten divorced from her first husband, Robert Capshaw. She and Robert had gotten married in 1976 and that same year welcomed a daughter they named Jessica Capshaw. Unfortunately, after about four years together, they ended their marriage in 1980. Following her divorce, Kate decided to keep her ex-husband's last name and began to pursue her career as an actress in Hollywood. Before she became an actress, Capshaw was a special education teacher. However, she decided to quit her job as a teacher because she felt it wasn't stimulating enough for her and wanted to try something out of her comfort zone. Unfortunately, it wasn't easy for Kate to get the ball rolling on her acting career. In fact, after approaching one of her friends in New York who was a talent agent, they refused to represent her because they said she was too old to get good roles. Kate was only 27 years old at the time. It wasn't until Spielberg cast her in Indiana Jones that she got her big break. Steven had been having trouble casting the right woman to play alongside Harrison Ford, but after he met Kate and gave her a screen test, he quickly cast her in the film. As for Steven, he wasn't single when he met Kate. In fact, he had already been dating actress Amy Irving since the late 70s after being introduced through director George Lucas. Steven and Amy bonded over their connections in Hollywood, and soon a romance began to blossom. The couple briefly split in the early 80s, but after rekindling their relationship, they got married in 1985. That same year, Steven and Amy welcomed their first child together, a son they named Max. As Steven's career quickly gained traction in the film industry, he soon became one of Hollywood's most successful directors. But at some point, you're going to need to find your natural voice and find a way to give voice to who you are. And who you are, by the way, who you are is original. It just is, because you're not Tom, you're not me, and you're not your best friend, and you're not your teacher, you're not your parents. You are you. Unfortunately, Spielberg's fame came at the expense of his marriage to Amy. Their love for one another started to dwindle as Steven focused more of his time on his work than on his life at home. Their life in the public eye took a toll on their relationship, and Amy began to feel uncomfortable with the expectations that came with their newfound celebrity status. Sadly, the couple wasn't able to make things work and decided it would be best to end their marriage. So in 1989, Steven and Amy divorced after four years together. Amy shared after their split, During my marriage to Steven, I felt like a politician's wife. There were certain things expected of me that definitely weren't me. Right after his divorce, Steven reached out to Kate and the pair started spending more time together. Having both recently gone through a divorce and being parents, the pair bonded over their shared experiences. The pair grew so close that it was reported that Kate and her daughter even moved in with him a few months later. Although they had a working relationship and friendship at the start, it didn't take long for it to turn into something more. And when they realized they had feelings for each other, they began dating. That is until you meet the love of your life. And this is what happened when I met and married Kate. And that became the greatest character-defining moment of my life. Love. Support. In 1990, they had a daughter they named Sasha Spielberg. The following year, Kate and Steven got married. And in 1992, they welcomed another child, a son named Sawyer Spielberg. Four years later, their daughter Destry Spielberg was born. And over the next few years, they also adopted two children. Theo and Michaela. You know, I have seven kids. When they were all growing up, I told them stories every night. I went from room to room to room telling them all different stories. And I do the same thing with a camera and a crew. Steven and Kate became the ultimate blended family. Interestingly enough, becoming a father to a big family wasn't something Spielberg had ever planned for. The director had never envisioned himself starting a family of his own. However, it was his work on E.T. the Extraterrestrial that led him to change his mind. Steven admitted, I didn't want to have kids because it was not a kind of equation that made sense for me as I went from movie to movie to movie, script to script. It never occurred to me till halfway through E.T. I was a parent on that film. Spielberg explained that he felt very protective over the child actors that he worked with on the film, and it made him realize that he was capable of being a good parent. And I've always said to my kids, the hardest thing to listen to, your instincts, your human personal intuition, 
always whispers, it never shouts. Very hard to hear. So you have to, every day of your lives, be ready to hear what whispers in your ear. It very rarely shouts. And if you can listen to the whisper, and if it tickles your heart, and it's something you think you want to do for the rest of your life, then that is going to be what you do for the rest of your life. His time with all the young kids made him feel like he wanted to have children of his own that he could take care of. So his, uh, his directing skills have, have worked in both the, uh, the cinema and at home. Stephen and Kate have been married for over 30 years, and from the very beginning of their relationship, they have been nothing but supportive of each other. They've always pushed and encouraged one another to do what makes them happy, and they value one another for what they each bring to the table. Kate shared, Stephen and I are partners, and our life together is our production, so to speak. She went on to explain that if she wants to do something that would have an impact on their marriage, it's important to her that he's on board. She added, I want to have his support. The couple understands the value of communication in their marriage and always makes sure to keep each other informed about how they're feeling. Kate explained that by simply keeping the channel of communication open, then everybody saved a lot of work. After they got married, Kate took a step back from her acting career to focus on their family and raising their children. She shared, He operates his jet, a camera and a story. My jet is the family. Capshaw said that she respects the fact that Spielberg has worked incredibly hard to build his career and it's important for him to keep doing what he loves. While he gets to run things on a movie set, her job is to run things at home and she wouldn't have it any other way. Kate shared, I get to be the frontiers woman here and he gets to be the frontiersman there. We have to replace fear with curiosity. Us and them will find the we by connecting with each other and by believing that we're members of the same tribe and by feeling empathy for every soul. Kate had no problem putting her career aside to focus on her family. While she enjoyed her career as an actress, she loved her role as a mother and a wife even more. Capshaw said her acting career was neither hurt nor helped by being Mrs. Steven Spielberg. She did note, however, that her marriage to the legendary director influenced some of the projects she took on because not every filmmaker wanted Spielberg's input on their work. She shared that Steven is one of the more generous directors in the community, adding, He's quiet, he sits back and he doesn't answer a question unless a question has been asked. You feel his support. Whether Kate wanted to continue her work as an actress or spend more time at home, Stephen was always there supporting whatever it was she wanted to do. The couple even went on to collaborate on a music video in 2022. Stephen directed the music video for Marcus Mumford's song Cannibal, while Kate took on the role of producer and art director. Capshaw also influenced Spielberg's filmmaking in a big way. Stephen confessed that he almost signed on to direct the raunchy hit comedy Meet the Parents until Kate talked him out of it. Stephen explained, My wife says I'm not funny enough. I was preparing to direct Meet the Parents. When she read the script, she said, You're not directing this movie. Give it to a director who does comedy well. However, Spielberg found the middle ground and decided to produce the film instead. And it's no surprise that the film did very well. All jokes aside, it seems like Stephen and Kate's relationship is stronger than ever. There's no doubt that part of being a supportive partner is also being honest. And it's pretty clear that Kate isn't shy about sharing her opinions with Stephen. The fact that they can be honest with one another on that kind of level shows how much they respect each other and that they don't take each other's opinions too personally. Stephen and Kate's marriage has stood the test of time and in Hollywood, a three decade long marriage speaks volumes. They found love with one another after their first marriage has failed and have been inseparable ever since. While their love grew, their family did too and they couldn't be happier with the life that they worked hard to build together. We wish Stephen and Kate only the best, and we're sure their marriage will grow even stronger for more decades to come. Be well and be kind.